So if I suddenly disappear, it's probably aliens or Bigfoot. Like, no, probably not Bigfoot. There's no woods out here. Hello lovers, welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today's journey takes us from Las Cruces, New Mexico to Midland, Texas. And this is, there's a lot of cool stuff in this episode from White Sands National Park to a special surprise at the end, which I've been looking forward to since I planned this trip. So let's jump right in. Now, if you watched the last video I made on Tucson to Las Cruces, which ended with me getting kicked out of a Walmart parking lot, then you would know that I also discovered a giant red chili pepper. And I discovered it at night, so it was really hard to see. So before I left Las Cruces, I went back to the Big Chili Inn to see the fantastic, amazing, giant chili in the daytime. And it did not disappoint. It was so awesome. I just wanted to like hang out at this Big Chili. I wanted to like climb on top of it, sit on it, and take a lot of pictures, but I thought people were probably gonna be like, what is this lady doing? And plus they probably don't allow you to just go sitting on the big chili. But I did give it a big hug. And then I was like, all right, I've spent enough time at this chili and now I need to get going. Which is really funny because I do not like red chilies at all. I don't like spicy food, like zero spicy. I want negative spicy, I don't like it. But this big chili kind of made me happy. So I was glad to be able to see it in the daytime. About an hour outside of Las Cruces is the White Sands National Park. And I saw some pictures on it and so I was like, ooh, that looks really cool. So I went into the park. They have a visitor center, a little museum, and then you have to go through the guard gate. Since it is a national monument or a national park, you do have to pay to get inside to see the dunes. And there was a sign that had all the prices listed. So typically, if you just have a car full of people, each car is $25. But Here's a cool tip. If you're a solo traveler, even though it's lonely, <laughs> you do get some perks. So if you go to a national park, typically the price is less if it's a car and it's just one person, which that's me. But when I got up to the gate, this is what happened. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Just you? Yeah. Okay. Well, Thank you. You're welcome. It's good for six days. Oh. I'm going to take you to the driver's side of your windshield, okay? Okay. Great, thank Have you. Have a wonderful day, ma'am. You too. Thank you. Also, it's really cool that this park allows you six days in the park with one entrance fee. Now, before I got going into these sand dunes, I really was hungry and I wanted to eat lunch. So here's just a little snippet of how I prepare a basic lunch on the road in my car. Those watching these videos are not subscribed. What are you doing? Just, just, just take 
little cursor and just do a little, a little click, just a little, just a little tiny like click on the subscribe button. And then you're already there, so just hit the notification bell and then just throw a like on it. So just a quick little blurb about White Sands. Basically, this is the largest gypsum dune field in the world. Because I was looking it up and I was like, no, there's probably like more dunes like in Saudi Arabia or wherever they have camels. But these, these particular dunes are gypsum sand. So this is like white powdery sand and it was just really awesome to see. It looked like snow, but it's sand and it was really soft too. So I had a really good time exploring. Now, one of the tips I wanna give you is even if you think you're gonna just go in there for like an hour and just look at it, it's not, it's like, that's not a real thing. You're gonna wanna give yourself plenty of time to just explore, hang out, take pictures, videos, because it's really, a, it's like a very calming place. And I found myself just wanting to sit on the dunes and just relax and just be at peace and just chill out. So give yourself plenty of time. Also bring plenty of water because even if it's overcast, it's still like a long day and there's no water out there. So you really want to make sure you do that. Also, if you want to sled down the dunes, you can, but you're going to want to bring your own sled. Obviously, if you're traveling on a road trip, you're not going to just bring a sled just for this. So I think you can buy them or rent them in the gift shop or the visitor center. I read on another blog post that I think it was like about $18 to buy one that's new or $10 to buy one that's used. And then if you bring it back, you get a $5 credit. So it's not terribly expensive, but if you have a family and you buy like four sleds, yeah, it's gonna add up. Just kind of factor that in if you do wanna sled down the dunes. I particularly didn't care about doing that, but I did take some footage of people doing it and it looked pretty fun. All right, I just left White Sands National Park and I, I have a resident and I didn't get good service. In fact, every time I would try to Lloyd, Lloyd, load my map, it wouldn't load, I couldn't get a connection, which sucks, Verizon. So I had to go into the visitor center and ask the girl there if she could look it up on the computer, like which way is Midland, Texas, because now I gotta leave here and get to Midland. And she's like, okay, well, you need to first go into the town of Algo, Algomordo, Algomordo, something like this. And it's about 20 minutes away. So now I'm headed there. I am glad that there's a town upcoming because I need gas because I only have a quarter of a tank and when you're driving through these southwestern states it's a lot of desert and nothingness so it's always good to fill up when you can okay I messed up you done messed up A.A. Ron basically what I was trying to do is I was going to the White Sands National Monument or National Park I was gonna stay there for an hour take some pictures blah 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 and then I needed to get on the road by 1 p.m. so that I could get to Midland, Texas by 6.30 p.m. because I really want to go to the Big Sky Drive-In and the show started at 7. It's a double feature, 7 and then 9.30. Well, I stayed way longer than I thought at the White Sands National Monument because it was awesome and I just wanted to enjoy it. So I didn't get out of the park until 3 p.m. Finally, I got into the small town where I could get signal and I put in the address for the theater in Midland, Texas, and it was like, you're gonna arrive at 9.45. I'm like, 9.45? That's like way, way late. That's like after the second movie even starts. And I'm like, no, I like, that's one of the highlights that I wanted to go do because there's not much to do in Midland, I mean, you know, that's one of the cool things that I was like, okay, I can go there and relax, get some popcorn. And I was like, why? If it's only five hours from Almogordo, then why is it so late? And then I looked up the directions on Google Maps. And it's like, note that your destination is in another time zone. Duh, again, I forgot about the dang time zone. <sighs> This is a bunch of like back roads, so I'm gonna hurry up and try to get there for 9.30, so. Hang on to your hats, we're gonna do this.
so so far the drive has been smooth sailing it's been beautiful gorgeous just beautiful plains and the sunset was amazing but now I'm going through Artesia I don't know if I'm still in New Mexico but I'm in Texas I think I'm still in New Mexico but there's like a I think these are like oil areas because I see those little things that are like really things and Loki it smells bad like sulfur and I am lightheaded like legit feel slightly woozy in the head is that normal like is that a thing around this area because I didn't really research before I but am I supposed to feel that way like that's this is like strong odor chemical odory kind of thing I don't know I just want to get out of here plus it's dark AF out here like this is like the dark that you see in a movie where a UFO just creeps up behind your back behind the back of your car and nobody would ever know one way or another so if I suddenly disappear it's probably aliens or Bigfoot like no probably not Bigfoot there's no woods out here but ah this car is because the van that was next to me is now behind me. But hey, you never know. It actually could, I don't know. All right, so I made great time and God is great and I made it inside the Big Sky Movie Theater in Midland, Texas. Got my fresh popcorn and my Coke and I'm gonna sit in this back seat and watch Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, <laughs> which is such a funny thing to do. And then this movie's gonna get over probably at like, probably like 11 and then I'm gonna have to find somewhere to sleep. So most likely tonight it's going to be a residential because last night I got woken up by a security officer and that was upsetting. So I think tonight I'm just going to just go to a residential neighborhood and get a good night's rest. I'm so excited about this movie. Yay! 